heat race last year at Tampa Supercross. Um, there was a, a rhythm section that I hadn't jumped all day. The track was kind of rutted in practice, so I didn't feel comfortable. So um, being second in points, I knew if, you know, if I wanted to make up some ground on Jason that I was going to have to, you know, be doing everything that everyone else is doing. And there was a quad in the middle of the rhythm section, and I was behind Eli Tomac, and, you know, he's obviously a really talented rider, so I trusted his, his uh, judgment off the jump and followed him off of it. And I uh, just didn't hit it fast enough and came up short, went over the bars, uh, bike hit me and literally only me, like bounced off me. So broke my, the, all the soft tissue in my pelvis in the front, um, dislocated my sacrum on the right side, snapped it in half on the left side and AC separation in my shoulder. And yeah, that was pretty uh, long, I don't know, recovery time for all that stuff. Yeah, um, I think my story this year, especially, uh, was kind of overlooked. I mean, it, it's I understand it because there's been there's a lot going on this year. This is probably the most like hectic and and uh, just like so many moving parts in the season with all the different riders and kind of guys moving up and and um, there's a lot of talent. I think even Jason, like winning the championship was overlooked too. Like there's so much hype around everyone else. And, and then me like kind of being in second in points, going down and really kind of struggling with some things um, while I was, you know, hurt and away from the sport and stuff. I think it was a lot harder than I thought too. Cause like, you know, I got to start riding in, I think it was uh, September. And I was like, oh, I'll have plenty of time to get back to racing shape. But you don't really realize like, I couldn't do anything for literally four months. I wasn't allowed to ride my bicycle, so I didn't get any cardio in, and I lost probably four years worth of training right there. Like, just, you know, everything goes away. Fitness, strength, and um, mobility, like being in a wheelchair for two two months, not being able to stretch, that was a big thing for me too. So, um, yeah, it was, it was definitely a lot harder than I had anticipated coming back, you know? Like, I thought I was gonna be able to go up to uh, A1 and just kill it again and uh, was pretty humbled the first four or five rounds and just had to like learn my place and and uh, it's been tough mentally for sure but um, I'm glad I came back like even if like this was my last year I'm glad that like I could come back didn't let like an injury define me um, and just like get get back out there because if I would have retired last year I would have been like what would have been like you know what there would have been so many questions and and like I don't know, just it, it wouldn't have been, um, it wouldn't have been as like reassuring, I guess. It's been tough. I've never been in the position that I'm in right now this, this season. It's been up and down. Um, I feel like I've, I've, my speed's picked up, but my, like I said before, my fitness and my, you know, my strength has deteriorated last year. So I'm, I'm definitely making up for lost time. So that's been really tough for me to kind of swallow, you know, getting, halfway through a race and getting really tired to where I don't know if I can hang on and, and make it much longer in the position that I was in. So that's been the biggest hurdle for me. But um, yeah, I've, I've showed a lot of speed and and um, I don't know, I, I think that just like coming back from what I, what I came back from was just the biggest kind of achievement this season. It was tough, but um, you know, I'm glad I did it. And you know, it's, yeah, we got one more round to go and, um, and we head outdoors. So it'll be, I'm, I'm excited for outdoors too, because I get to go to Florida and start training with uh, Cincerello and Roxon and Chase Sexton and all those guys. Yeah, I think Troy's kind of always had like an eye out for, you know, when there's a certain event or a certain race coming up and he wants to throw us in something to kind of make a statement. So like this weekend we're going to Vegas, so we got the, the Vegas LE stuff on right now and gonna show up and racing this stuff this weekend. And actually I remember even before I signed onto the team when they'd show up to Vegas in the Troy League gear and like kind of been jealous because it was like kind of flashy, but also super stylish because it's just that's just like Troy Lee's way. But uh, yeah, he, he definitely has like a way of, of putting his like signature touch on, on things when it's a certain race or a certain thing that he wants to stand out with. Being a part of the Troy Lee family for 10 years now, literally a decade of my life has been, it's been amazing. And man, I was on the, the Troy Lee Honda team for five years and now I've been, you know, a Honda guy and a Troy Lee guy for the next five. And it's been fun. Uh, it's been really cool and they've, they've really treated me like family. Shoot, where everything's been going, like with the with the pan, with the jersey, now gloves, and and just recently, like a couple years ago, the helmet. Um, you know, I was in it a little bit before, like it hit the shelves, and like right away, I was like, I'd never want to go back to any other helmet. Like it was so much better than anything else, and like 
talking to Troy about how much engineering and, and testing that went on behind the scenes, it was like crazy, you know, just like product testing other guys' helmets and then putting up against his stuff and then testing with the new helmet and figuring out, you know, every little way that he can make, really make the sport safer because your head's your most important part. You don't want to, don't want to put that at risk and don't want to cheap out on a helmet. And now I think it's made everybody else step it up. Like had them working with MIPS, you know, everyone's kind of got MIPS in their stuff now. So um, he's definitely an innovator and, and um, he's all like always been about safety. You know, he's always on me about not wearing enough, uh, enough safety equipment. That's why I got under protector on underneath my jersey now and always wearing like everything I can to keep myself safe is mainly because of Troy. And at one point I even put it in my contract, like I have to wear a certain amount in order to, to race for him. So um, he's always been about safety and you know that that uh, helmet that we have on is definitely like, definitely a product of Troy Lee, you know, safety first. Troy is like, he's an icon. I mean, that's been really cool to kind of grow with him. I'm Cole Seeley with HRC Honda and I've been on Troy Lee Designs for 10 years.